Hey there, we're going to learn a networking library that we can download JSON and strings from the internet. So one way that we can use this is to use this for APIs. So a big thing for APIs, we can use them for JSON. So one way to do that is by using OK HTTP. Now we need to compile it, so we need to get this line from OK HTTP and put in our dependency into it right here in our Gradle. Next thing is to initialize our OK HTTP. Now we need the client. This pretty much is the engine that does everything with networking. Now we need a request. What the request is is pretty much a pointer to the URL. So we're putting the URL here. This isn't actually downloading anything from the URL, this is just a pointer. So for example we can put headers into this example if you needed them for an API or a um, parameters so you can put in the body Now we need a call to the um, link. So this is pretty much calling the um, to the link a get request to get the uh, the JSON from there. And now we're just enqueuing it into a background thread because we can't use networking with the main UI thread because that's that's a task that takes time to do. You never you should never do things that take time on the main thread because then it'll hold everything up on the UI. So now we need to get the JSON response dot body dot string. Now here's a good trick. We need to get the class name. Now now to run this on the main thread because on response is on the back end thread. It's on another thread. So we need to get our activity, main activity, dot this dot run on UI thread, create a runnable. Now we take our JSON text view. We set the text to the JSON. Make that final. Forgot to do that. <laughs> and now, if it ever, if it ever fails, I want to do a toast. Toast. The resources that get string r dot string dot network field already made a string in the values folder right here you don't want to create this just with parentheses in here because whenever you want to change that you may have this all over the app like four or five times in the app whenever it fails you have this string that shows so you just put it in here and you only have one copy of it pretty much and it'll change everything in here I should have done that for this URL as well I should do that right now Get resources dot get string json or dot string json URL. I'll just copy this. Now put this in here. You you can actually do alt and enter to. 
three string in there and now it's in there. Now I'm all clean. And now I'm going to start it. And that's all. It just it's now showing the JSON. And I can show you this link. I can this is getting it from JSON generator from here and I can show you I'll just give you this code and put it in a JSON generator because I don't know how long this URL lasts and that's it next video I'll be parsing this JSON showing you how to use JSON with Android